Hey guys, how's it going? I know it's been a while and I really do apologize for that. During the break, I just got really wrapped up in my job and then school started and it all kind of just smushed together. Um, but luckily, since school isn't as time consuming as work in my opinion, I can actually work in some uh, some free time for myself, do whatever I want. So I'm back. Now from the previous video to now, I've actually developed a new obsession. Um, one that I truly never thought I would pick up. Uh, comics and it's a little odd because I literally just picked up because I went into a comic book shop nearby my house and decided to pick up this one issue of Dark Knight's Death Metal which is a version where essentially there's a Jokerized Batman from negative multiverse taken over the main multiverse uh, the main multiverse alongside some other core characters um, and when I first read it, I was like, okay, I'm obviously missing a lot here. What am I missing? There's a lot of content, a lot of references I don't understand. Um, I mean, Death Metal itself um, wasn't that hard to pick up and read. It was just that I could tell that I didn't truly understand the characters and how they acted and why they acted. What was their reason and what was their true backstory? There are so many different backstories for someone like Bruce. There's so many different versions. And I kind of wanted to know which version am I reading about. So I looked it up. I compiled a reading list. One that went all the way back to the beginning of the New 52. Which isn't that actually new. Or old I guess you should say. Um, because it started in I believe 2016. So some people might say New 52 is kind of a really garbage place to start off. Because there was a lot of um, negativity surrounding it. We'll say that. Uh, I know that Superman for sure uh, was not great. After all, what they did in the end of the Justice League run, New 52 in general, kind of proves that. Um, but aside from that, anyways, I got a little off track there. It all started there, and I ended up collecting and collecting and just becoming more and more intrigued with every single comic I picked up, uh, to the point where I bought the entire Batman New, 50 New 52 series, which is apparently the best of the New 52, so I'm really happy I did that. And I picked up some Rebirth some post rebirth so like i'd say post rebirth is dc universe but dc universe is just rebirth rebranded in a sense so they're not really that different as far that's my understanding you can correct me if i'm wrong there um i had some trouble figuring that out and then i've also got a doomsday clock which is also around the, it's a, based around that the whole death metal thing um but you know i wanted to read watchmen in order to get context for that so it just it's kind of just gone all the way down the waterfall which is way down here and now that i've finished the batman new 52 which i'm extremely pleased about i might even make a video talking about that because it was so great um i've moved on to the flash new 52 with the flash omnibus which is what this entire video is about and i know it took me three whole minutes to get there so most of you guys have probably clicked away sorry um now the flash new 52 has mixed reviews mostly because the first half um was really good and then they decided to switch authors. I'm not sure if they switched artists uh, as well, but I know they definitely switched one of them. Um, and essentially, or they switched both. Essentially, long story short, the rest of the Flash New 52 wasn't that great. It didn't hold up in comparison to the beginning, which is what this omnibus covers. It covers the entire uh, Francis Men Menopal and the Brian Bucciolato run. I don't know if I pronounced that last name correct or not, but I hope so. Um, so I just got this in today, actually. Normally, this omnibus goes for 131 Canadian plus X. Um, that is a lot of money. Luckily, if you are a Prime member, they actually give you Prime discounts for orders, which I didn't realize. Actually, comic books in a large a large amount of comic books fall under the scope of these discounts, including this omnibus, which I got for $95. It's a Prime. That is a whole like. 35 for 45 dollars off almost I, i'm not i'm doing quick math here don't judge me um 35 dollars off depending if you want to consider tax or not it's up to you um i'm just really excited to start this comic i haven't even read the first page yet first thing i wanted to do was kind of make a video because i realized i've got some free time right now and i kind of want to put it towards you guys because i haven't done that and my last video actually got a lot more coverage than i thought it would um as do most of my videos, honestly. They seem to be, for some reason, oh so covered 
in these views and then I just leave for five or six months, come back, host a video, repeat, repeat, repeat. Um, I'm hoping not to keep that up, but honestly, who knows at this point. But anyways, I think um, you can officially say my YouTube channel will cover the scope of comic books, video games, and then we'll just say anything in that kind of genre or any subgenres of that you can be safe to assume I might cover. Um, actually, up there is my bookshelf of comics right now. Now, that doesn't include the actual singular comics. I have a bin dedicated to singular comics about this thick worth of just single issues, including the Joker War, um, some other ones I forget, uh, including the Night Nightwing tie-ins and all that. But those are all my volumes and uh, chapters and all that. But anyways, now that I've kind of given you a rough update of what my channel's being like and what's been happening recently, let's just cover this real quick, because this is what this whole video is about, is just covering this comic. Um, so this is a Flash on this. It covers the first half of the New 52. We've got Flash here. He's running up, looking real badass. We've got the, the side here, actually. The side here actually looks really great. Um, I'm really I, I'm really pleased with this font, and it's not the same as, as the front, of course, but... I'm loving it uh, and then of course they've got this here which has some reviews i think ign's up there which i mean like this ign even really like does their input i don't know like isn't it like a gaming thing uh, anyways uh and the, then there's a description actually of the book itself now the interior has a small description as well under the think fast section and the back has a little bit about the now let's see what this thing looks like without the sleeve on. So here you can see the Flash is running. But hey, where is he running from? The back of the book. And you can see that he's actually running past a bunch of civilians as per the Flash. As he always does. Um, oh, oh, wow. I really... I don't know what it, what it is with font all of a sudden, but I'm loving that. Um, binding wise, binding looks pretty strong, pretty beautiful. Um, paper is a matte paper. I don't know if you can tell by like the reflectiveness of the light off of it. But it is a matte paper, so it's a higher quality paper, which I like. Um, and earlier on in the book, it does look like the book closes on itself, which is kind of expected. It's such a large book. Um, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. So yeah. I try to be gentle with the spines, but this book looks pretty durable, ultimately. Considering how large it is, it looks like it can really handle a lot of rough usage, which I'm hoping not to give it. Um, but yeah, so that is the Flash on the Let's take a look at the art style. Let's see if I can find something nice for you to look at. Let's see. Ooh. I like that. I like that. That is beautiful. So nice. Another artist that I really like his uh, version of the Flash is Jim Lee. I've actually got his Jim Lee the Flash figure. It's a bit blurred out because I've got some depth of field going on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got the actual Flash figure up there, the pop figure. Yeah, art style, ultimately loving it. Um, matte paper, which means it's good quality. Nothing low quality. I know some, some omnibuses, like the later, um, the currently being released Batman series, the newer omnibuses like Volume 5 apparently have a really cheap spine or really cheap paper to them. They don't feel um, that high quality. We're well, not the omnibus, I believe it's the volumes actually. But this feels really high quality. It feels sturdy. It feels like it could last a long time in terms of not breaking down, even with some aggressive spine bind bending reading. And uh, it even like bends up to reduce wear, which is pretty nice actually. So yeah, this is the Flash Omnibus. Like I said, it's about 131 Canadian. Uh, American, I believe, is just like 100. Yeah, it's literally just 9.99. Um, but uh, like I said, on Prime, um, you might get a discount if you have Prime on Amazon. Now, here's one thing: when it comes to smaller comics, uh, not omnibuses, ones that I can afford even for a little bit more, I would rather purchase them at a local comic book shop. After all, those are the ones who really need the help, not Amazon. So when it comes down to it, guys, if you can afford it, get it at a local comic book shop. I couldn't, so I had to get that $30 off. But other volumes, such as 
the epilogue for Batman New 52. I bought that at my local comic book shop. I go there very often. Um, I guess you could say I'm a regular. So yeah, uh, in future videos, I'll probably be covering a little bit of the Batman New 52, talking about how I felt about it, maybe talk about Watchmen. Um, and then also, I do have Among Us and Fall Guys installed on my computer, so hopefully I'll be covering that section of gaming. Considering how large those are right now, I'll probably be recording my future sessions with my friends. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in my future videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.